The liberal hypocrites are are worse are worse hypocrites. Well, if you see somebody carrying a Bible with a cross and uh, a belt and a buckle and he looks like a Puritan, you know what he is, right? What? So you know he's going to be a Puritan hypocrite. So you're not surprised. Uh huh. But when you see someone carrying a copy of Karl Marx or the Democratic Party manifesto and uh, praising liberalism and progressivism, you expect him to really believe and practice what he says. Right. Then you find out, to your surprise and amazement, that he's the biggest hypocrite in the world. He's doing exactly the opposite of what he orders you to do. Uh huh. Okay, and you get very surprised about that. Spitzer is only the latest example. Right. Right. Okay. Now, Basil Patterson wouldn't be caught paying money to a white hooker uh, because he can't see them and uh, because it would look bad. So he'll probably get a black hooker, a uh, David Patterson. Wow. Okay. Well, what about Kirsten? What you, when, you, when you first called me up, you said what? That I should have, uh, oh, something about Webster Tarpley versus Spitzer. What was your comment? Yeah, here's uh, Big Mouth Webster Tarpley and all the members of the 9-11 crowd wrapping themselves in a shroud of greatness and they're on a great moral crusade to prove this and to prove that. Meanwhile, not only does uh, Tarpley know who I am, but he obviously watched my show many, many, many times. H how do you know that? And why would he refuse to meet me and, and uh, get so strong about me if he didn't know about it? Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, what I'm saying is very simple. We have 72 channels. Now we have 800 zillion channels. If someone is going through the dials and they happen to turn through a show and they don't like it, what do they do? What do they do? They turn to another channel. Okay. But do they sit there and agonize over the show and say, Oh my God, this is awful. I can't stand it. This is terrible. Yeah, I see. So they come back to the show not once, not twice, but three times a week and say, This is awful. I, I, oh, this guy is terrible. Three nights a week, 700 times. All right? <laughs> so anybody who does that and then says anything bad about me, very simple. You know, how come you watched it so many times that you learned to hate this guy, George? Why don't you just turn to something else and, you know, don't hate anybody, just watch something better, if there is anything better. Um, well, no, let me, let me, in defense of Webster, let me tell you how that came about. He felt that Obama was such bad news that he wanted, and, and I, I sent the word out to, uh, you know, I just hit reply all, you know, I get on these lists, so I figure if they're going to send me stuff, I can just hit reply all and send it back. And I said that I was going to do a show with Ugly George about Obama because we were at the ACAP meeting, the Association for uh, Public Access Producers, and you put it out there to the whole group, does anybody want to do this, uh, this story? Because the left press and the right press is not touching it. Rem and who was the only one with and polls? Paul and Gloria. Well, well, so, no, so here's the thing. So I put that out and I said, you know, since I'm going to do this, I'm going to tell people I'm going to do it. And then Webster responded to me and he wanted to do something on Obama and he wanted to, and he sent me some complicated thing about a speech that Obama read was read by some identical, an identical speech was read by some other politician. And then they were going to do some reverse analysis of speech, and it, it just got not very interesting to me. Yeah, but why is he so, so fearful about me unless he knows exactly who I am? Well, that, then I said, why don't you just do the show with Ugly George too, Ugly George and Webster Tarpley? But I think, I think people don't want to be associated with the sex. They, they're, they're titillated and... Or, <laughs> right, or, or, in the or, closet. Or, or no, no, they're titillated, if not by the sex, certainly by the hits, because they uh, say they have a very important message and they want that message to get out. So they like the idea of the hits. But then there's the responsibility with it, I guess, is that you just have a big energy and it's so controversial. You're so controversial. It's not a question of energy. It comes down to the same simple thing I've been saying for 800 years, the wireless channel changer. All right? Today you can call it the keyboard. Right. People choose to type in your show, my show, hit the mouse, hit the keyboard, search for it with keywords, right? Yeah. Apparently they choose to do it. That's why Ugly George has 48 million links on Yahoo and Tarpley doesn't. All right? So instead of saying like any practical person would do, any practical...
pragmatic person, hey, if my message is going to get out there, here's a guy with 48 million links, hey, it's going to be seen by people. He says, no, I wish to keep my message pristine and pure and holy. My 9-11 message, and I don't want to be smirching with pornography or naked women or anything else. So you better be careful next time you look in the mirror, Miss Gloria, because you'll be smirching things. <laughs> no, but I'm I'm really trying to uh, to work this out right now because um, people are really confused. You know, somebody was complaining on my channel. They said, Paula, I was going to vote until I saw your your show. Now I can't even vote for Obama. It's like you take all hope away from people. I mean, what what is another moron? Uh, look, the press, 100%, the establishment corporate press, right? Yeah. Has come out and said this is basically a two legged race. Uh, there's Hillary and Obama. Oh, by the way, there's some guy named John McCain, but never mind him. Okay? Uh huh. And then you and I and some other people come up with alternative truths. And we say, that's not the whole story. Would you like that whole, the whole story? And what does this moron say? I'm, I'm confused. You mean, moron, that you're happy to get the corporate story? <laughs> All right? And you can only take a decision between Hillary and Obama and nothing else can fit in your little stupid mind <laughs> other than Hillary and Obama? And which one is better? So, you, so you're going to vote for McCain, is that it? I didn't say that. I mean, you know, I can't tell you who I'm going to vote for because it may cause a wave of excitement. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want to be uh, convinced of anything like that, okay? I mean, you know, I may vote for Paula Gloria or uh, Kristen for Secretary of Sex. <laughs> do you we think may open one of that uh, you, offices on Secretary of Sex? Do we you, need that. Do you? Yeah. Tell me why why we need that. Why? Yeah. Because we have ugly wives who don't fulfill men. Oh. Haven't you heard what Laura Schlesinger, Dr. Laura, has said about this controversy? No. She said, "You know whose fault this is." Who? Silver Spitzer, Spitzer's wife. And she's come out and said, the trouble is that Silver did not give uh, Elliot enough great sex and enough great understanding and warmth, so he had to go pay for it someplace else. So it's Silver's fault. Yeah, but you don't really believe that, do you? I mean, people are under Just so much pressure. carrying the mail. You know what that means? I'm carrying the mail from Dr. Laura. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. So uh, we have ugly, cold, sexless wives, and uh, men go seek uh, the warmth of sex elsewhere. Uh-huh. H hang on just a second. Rabbit Hole Central, we're streaming. Are you streaming? What yeah. are we streaming about? I've got Ugly George on the line about the uh, Spitzer thing. About the wits? What does George say about Spitzer? Oh, it's kind of interesting. You want me to call you back and you be in on the discussion? I'm creating um, a tape. Okay. Okay, I'll call you back. Hey, George? Yes? Do you want to include Alan Steinfeld on the discussion? Who? Alan Steinfeld? I have no idea who he is. Do you want to, do you want to uh, widen this discussion? I can call no, him back. Not, not particularly, okay? Okay, then I'm going to have to say goodbye. Oh, okay, fine, and when you get a chance, we'll talk a little bit later, okay? okay? But okay. Uh, try to be warmer to your husband than Silda was, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That's a good advice. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll stop this.